boys and girls. Who that? Who that TV? For the people, them. Yes, yes, people. I'm Sister D, and welcome back to uh, Who That TV. We want to thank everyone for tuning into the Aaron Silk interview. Great, great job. We loved it, and we want to thank Aaron Silk for doing the interview. Right now, we're going to be interviewing Marcia Higgs. Marcia is the daughter of the late, great Joe Higgs. She's going to be here talking about her album that she has coming out called Better Not Bitter. And also, we're going to be talking about the movie Bob Marley, The Making of a Legend. Um, the movies by Esther Anderson and also features some music from Marcia Hayes. So once again, I'm Sister D and welcome back to Who Dat TV. And right now we're going to take you to the interview with Marcia Hayes. Who Dat TV. Welcome to Who Dat TV. Today we have a very, very special guest in the house. A good friend, a great musician, artist, Miss Marcia Higgs. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot to talk about today because I know you have a lot going on. Um, first, um, I want you to give me a little history about yourself. Who is Marcia Higgs? Uh, who that? Uh, who this? Uh, who this? Uh, who uh, me that? this. First of all, it's me this. Marcia Higgs, all right? <laughs> yeah, man. I am um, yeah, one of the many daughters of Joe Higgs, you know, the legendary Joe Higgs. So with that said, you know, my mom is Sylvia Richards, if you really want to know who I am. So I'm daughter of Joe Higgs and Sylvia Richards, okay? And, you know, actually I, you know, grew up in the ghetto, born and grew in a trench town and, you know, go school in the Denham Town region, ended up in Excelsior High and, you know, college this and all the rest of the things, you know? And um, then I decided to go into teaching. So... You know, after a couple of years or so in doing teaching, I figured this is too systematic for me. I mean, I've done so many years of high school and all these schools and, you know, <laughs> and, so, and then come back to do school again. Yeah. And it became, uh, you know, it was too systematic. So I thought, you know, hey, I've always loved music, had a love for music. I had written a few tunes, never did went to the studio or anything. And at that point, when I felt like teaching was too you know, too much like going back to school, waking up five in the morning, getting out and trying to get <laughs> to school and teach and come back and two o'clock out, you know, it was too much child. So yeah, I said, hey, music. So went to the German studio, uh, you know, get my couple of, you know, sisters, the twins, they're identical twins, uh, Pauline and Paulette Robinson. And, you know, we all used to live together in the same house as a family. So, you know, hey, we start rehearsing every night, <laughs> yeah. you know, after work or whatever. We would work, we would rehearse every night and till we got to a point where we said, hey, come on, let's go. So it was one of the twins' idea to go to Jamin's and that's how we ended up at King Jamin's. And, you know, usually you do an audition at King Jamin's at the studio for... Yeah his productions but when we went there and you know he looked at us and said oh what a name what's <laughs> a name <laughs> so we said pigs and twins you know him say pigs and twins he said yeah he said who is eggs well he said apparently you are eggs then that's a twin i can see so you must be eggs so i said yes he said so what am i gonna do i said well we come to do some recording man. I don't know if you want us, but we're Higgs and Twins. He says, so what relation is you to Joe Higgs? Sister, daughter. I said, I'm his daughter. He said, well, now I'm going to do an audition. But this is because you name Higgs. You must know what you're going to do to this. You, know, you must know something about yeah, this music yeah. business. Your father teach too much people for you to know nothing. <laughs> so, just... Go in at the studio right now, tell Fat Man, say anybody were in there to take them out right now, and Higgs and Twins going there and go do another. Uh, and Steel and Cleaver were there, and they did the the, 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 um, the rhythm session for our debut single, Down in the Ghetto. Mm -hmm. And that was how Higgs and Twins. That was the birth of Higgs and, <laughs> and Twins. So, yes. yeah. Here I am today. Uh, yeah. So tell me, 
uh, more about what you're doing today. Um, you know, I know you, um, you're working on an album. I know you're still performing. Um, you have a radio show. You have a lot going on. So, you know, tell the people, you know, a little bit more about what is Marcia Higgs doing today. All right, Marcia Higgs today is, I have to say, rejuvenated because a few years back I decided that I'm done with music. I really don't want to do anything with it. It's too much. And I just feel like the cards are stacked against me. I don't know if it's because me and Higgs <laughs> and, the, and the cards were stacked, like, apparently so stacked against my father. <laughs> you know, I grew up to realize that yeah. the cards were stacked against my father. And that's something I had to acknowledge because he wasn't the worst entertainer or performer or, you know, a singer than anyone. But for some yeah. reason, he was like shelled. Shelled. Not, not yeah. only shelled, but shelled. Yeah. And, um, you know, I had to trying to f I felt like I was just in this you know cave you know I couldn't come out and it's not that I don't have talent I do have talent I know I have talent you know so it's like I can't see what's going on so I said hey done with this thing so I went to up Bob Marley Dave and back in, uh, in the 90s and I saw Judy Mowat and she said what's going on what's up with the music I said you know how she talks, so humble and sweet. <laughs> yeah. What's up with the music? Yeah. I, said, I said, Sister Judy, I hung up my, I'm done with it. I, I use the word, I said, I hung up my spikes. <laughs> she said, hang up your spikes? I said, yes, I'm done with the music. I can't be bothered. It's too, you know, too much cut you with that. I can't deal with it. She said, let me tell you something. She said to me, let me tell you something. If it was for the love of fame and fortune, I personally would not be here tonight. But it's for the love of the people. So let it be the people and not the problem. Just do what you have to do. And I said, wow. Mm -hmm. And wise words. I started to think about doing the music again and this and that and all that. So, you know, never really took root, but I kept her words right in here so when my father passed away i decided to you know i was laying on my couch like a couple of days after his passing and my phone rang and this guy came on my phone and said hey i'm from ireland you know um whatever his name is and we talked and he says i give you condolences you know your you know your father was a great musician and blah blah you know, i kind of said okay thank you like everybody else people yeah. are calling me I don't know how they got my phone number and all that, but people were calling me from yeah. all over the world, which yeah. I respected. I honestly didn't know my father had so many people really. He had such an impact yeah. on people, yeah. So, you know, this particular guy, after he gave his condolences and he was all set and ready to get off the phone, he said to me, by the way, I have a very important question for you. I said, okay, he says. Because your father was such a monument in this reggae music business, have you yet decided how you're going to carry his name? I said, oh, now. I never thought about that. He said, well, think about it. You know, I said, okay, I'm thinking. Hold on, don't go. <laughs> I said, don't go. Just yeah. give me one good minute to yeah, think. Yeah. Think about it. I said, you know what? I wouldn't want to do another Bob, uh, you know, like those festivals, yeah, as such as the Bob Marley Festival, this then festival, music, this music. I said, you know what? Because my father was said to be a teacher of legends, and in his own right, a legend himself, I think I will have to do the Joe Higgs Music Awards, yes. you know, yes. in his honor and memory. Yes. And he said, great idea. Yeah. Great idea. And and so I decided to say, do the Joe Higgs Music Awards. I got no support, zero. <laughs> like zero, pro zero support <laughs> from the industry. Yeah. Not even those that I heard that my dad supported or taught or gave any of his own experiences. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I'm going to repeat, zero <laughs> support. <laughs> And I didn't have any money, you know, as such, to move on with the project. But I, I, in faith, I finally decided to step out 
in um, 2006. Yeah. And nobody came. I'm going to sit here and say nobody came except for, you know, a couple of nice people <laughs> and a couple of family members, yeah. you know, and my own children. But, yeah, stepped out in faith and did it and, you know, continued on, you know, and um, I was in Florida at the time. So, you know, I was thinking I'm going to move, you know, head out to Boston. Yeah. So... I got on the internet and said, I need, when I get to Boston, I need to have a band or some people, you know, I just need to know where I'm going, who I'm going to hang out with, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. I want some real authentic musician, you know. So I went on the internet, started searching for musicians in Boston. I came upon a couple. I, you know, called both bands. One did not respond at all, but one did. And the one that did was Sister D <laughs> from This and That Band. So when I read upon their bio, I kind of like this. I kind of like This and That Band. That was my first choice, as a matter of fact. But when I reasoned with Sister D, I said, "Wow, this is the person." <laughs> I said, "This is the person." So after speaking with her, Sister D. That was you. Yeah, yeah that was me. Was <laughs> Never shy. saw you in my life. <laughs> yeah. But it was this energy, this yeah. vibe, this sisterly love, this kindness. Yeah, it was a connection, definitely. Immediately. Yeah. yeah. Immediately. And uh, only to find out we are all both Scorpions. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, with Stay that. Yeah. <laughs> and in a good way. Uh, yeah. yeah, that thing was good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I moved on up to Boston and, you know. Connected with Sister D and this and that band, and yeah. I'm telling you, the rest is history <laughs> to this day. Yeah. And here we are, you know. And it was always an encouragement when you know you took me on many shows. Yeah, yeah. you started me off, you know, <laughs> taking me because actually I wanted you to play for the Joe Higgs Music Awards yeah, for me yeah. in Boston. Yeah, that's how I connected. Yeah. And you did, a, you know, you guys did a great job and it was great. I loved it. And that's how we started working together. Uh, and yeah. not just as a person that I you know, pick up or you know, pick up band. Or, yeah, yeah. But like a band, a Marcia Higgs band. Yeah, you know? yeah. So that's how we really connected. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I've been encouraged all the time by Rango. Yeah. <laughs> Rango always encouraged me. Yeah. Pick up Rango. Yeah. Um, sis. Do some tune, man. <laughs> do some tune, man. So I said, okay. I don't want to do no tune, but <laughs> come out and do some things and let's put some things on wax for you or whatever. So we started out doing a few, you know, well, little Marcia X yeah. demos yeah. and production that take me on the road with you guys. Yeah. And now I'm doing road again, you know. <laughs> And traveling and going all over the country yeah. and performing on festivals and all that stuff. So yeah. give up, you know, enough respect. And yeah. you know, actually, then, you know, you guys say, "Hey, Rango again. Why don't you do some of your father music, man? Yeah, yeah. We, we generate your father music, then, man. Come on." And he said to me, "My favorite is so it going." <laughs> <laughs> He said, my favorite is So It Go, yeah. so hey, you're going to work on So It Go for me. Yeah, yeah. I said, okay. And the first day, it was going on and on, been a long time coming. But yeah. that day, I came in the studio and said that, okay, we're going to do So It Go. Sister D build the rhythm and everything and came in the studio and hit the tune, man. I'm telling you, when I done sing that tune, So It Go, <laughs> tears. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't stop crying. That's yeah, so true. I remember that. Yeah. Could not stop crying. Yeah. You know, it was, it was too yeah. too powerful, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd be all right. But you know, music is a very emotional thing, you know, and um, the connection between you and your father and that song, you know. Um, I had a similar experience in the studio recently with someone who was singing about a family member that passed away and you know, just broke into tears, like, you know, so 
it's um you know it's very touching like i said music is very emotional and the connection between you and your father you know the music the whole thing it was you know it was, it was really a touching it was you know it was, it was really a touching moment you know and um i think the way you did that song and uh, the prayer and everything mm -hmm. that you did in it was just such a great tribute to him you know the way um, it would just couldn't have been done any better you know you just you put your heart and soul into the music, you know. Yeah, no. yeah. So that was, and then also now, the um that particular track is um going to be in the movie, and uh, tell them about the movie. Well, you know, I have to always say God moves in His own way. Yeah. And uh, like I said, all this, you know, person might see I put out a tribute album to my father and say, yeah, they all do that. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to tribute their father and mm -hmm. all that. You know, just remember, I'm, I've been an artist way before my father passed. <laughs> For the record, Higgs and Twins, Marcia Higgs, so it's been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the bottom line is everything in its own time. Yeah. Because when Rango said to me, do soy go, because that's my favorite show. Mm -hmm. Of Joe Higgs and I said, okay, I put it on the, the thing and start play the thing up. There, it, it, like it wasn't long after that Esther Anderson, you know, the movie star who filmed the Sydney Party in a warm December, great movie, great girl, great woman, mm -hmm. love love Esther yeah. article, you know, <laughs> yeah. big up Esther Anderson, and, you know, she's doing the um. The Bob Marley, the making of the legend movie, and mm. she asked me. She says, "Do you have anything that I can actually use in the mu in the movie mm -hmm. while I speak about your father? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. while you know I'm gonna be, you know, showcasing Joe Higgs and what he is and what he did for the Whalers, yeah, and especially Bob Marley. Yeah, like yeah. he taught them how to play guitar and sing harmony and all that stuff. Yeah. So is there anything musically that you have that I could use? Mm. And I said, sure. <laughs> I have so it go. <laughs> and so it went. <laughs> and so it went. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, send it off to her and it's you know, the matter of choices that the the movie you have they choose music. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have to do much. I just had one tune, mm -hmm. one song. And the one song, there was no hesitation. Yeah, because yeah. it is just Ja. You know, yeah, the Almighty, yeah. the Most High. Because the fact that I did that song, it was not even, only a few months yeah. prior to that asking. Mm, yeah. It was just amazing. Because normally I don't have anything. People say, no, say the way I No. <laughs> <laughs> Marcia, can I? I ain't got nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when she came and asked, when she asked me that moment, oh, I had something. Yeah. In the, the, the perfect song. Yeah, perfect, perfect. You know? yeah. So that's right. That's a perfect thing. So the movie will be on the market. It, it's already being previewed and premiered in many different uh, festival, film festivals around the, around the country, the around the world. Yes, around the world. You know, international thing. Yeah. And, you know, the actual. A movie or DVD or whatever is, you know, in the summer. Yeah. That will be, you know, coming. It'll be released. So in right the now, yeah, and guess what? The 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 movie. Bob Marley, the making of a legend. Yeah, that's that's like Bob Marley before he became Bob Marley. Okay, <laughs> it, the guy with that I knew. Yeah. Okay, the yeah. little young guy who was just free spirited and young and happy and just positive doing yeah. them thing you know so yeah um you know that's what bob marley and it's being premiered at on um, march 17th actually yeah, at, the at the revolutionary women and reggae yeah. and the western front showtime 8 8 p.m right? 8 p.m doors yeah. open at 7 30 on march 17th at the western front 343 western avenue in cambridge Massachusetts. showtime i mean film presentation 8 p.m mm -hmm. so hey be early or you ain't gonna see nothing. Yeah, yes, <laughs> that's right. So if you're in the United States, in the Boston, Massachusetts, or anywhere in the New England area, be sure to come out on March 17th. It's gonna be some great female performance. It's a annual show that your granddaughter, grand, um, your daughter, daughter, granddaughter of Joe Higgs actually yeah. puts on 
royal black goddess and um there's going to be like all kinds of great women entertainers erica newell mm -hmm. shah empress shanice mm -hmm. yourself shahada dinkwinesh yeah it's uh, always a big event. The TLR Rock, oh, Sister yes. D, yes, yes, and yes. this and that band, <laughs> the Black Madonna. Yeah. Come on. Great. And you know, Erica Newell, we have to give it up for her. Yes, yes. That voice. We are so grateful to have her. Yeah. You know, and that Shanice. Yeah. What? Well, Tsunami. <laughs> we should have some footage for, um, from the show, too, in the weeks coming um, on a Who That TV for you to check out. Well, right now, Anytime I talk to Marcia, it's a, uh, I can't even begin to end, but we have to end the show at some point. Okay. So I want uh, Marcia to, you know, go talk, up, say something about your album before we're leaving and, you know, tell people what to expect with the album and your radio show. She has so much going on, like, I know. we need like a couple yeah, days. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I do, you know, thank you for the platform. Mm -hmm. You know, one day Sister Lee called me and said, Marcia, would you like to do a radio show? <laughs> I said, <laughs> she said, I think you do have the personality, the voice, you know, and you're very smart. You know how to do things and say things. So I think, yeah, you should. <laughs> and I said, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and and there we go. I do have the positive reasoning with Marcia Higgs on Block Talk Radio, WDND Radio, This and That Band. This and That, this and productions. that productions. This yeah. and that productions, WD and D radio, a positive Mars reasoning with Marcia Hayes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And also, yeah, apart about the album, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm coming out with my album. You know, I was actually I was about to do my personal album, but I think it's it's I think I feel and I know it's the time that I give respect to my father. Yeah. That I really pay homage to him yeah. in a special way, yeah. in a way that I'm sure he's proud of, you know, something to remember him because it's been a while. He's been dead for over 10 years. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's about time. If I can do it, I should do it and I'm going to do it and I'm doing it. Yes, right. So, yeah, <laughs> the Joe Higgs tribute coming out this summer, Marcia Higgs, All you know, right. respect so we to are looking father. forward to that. Um, there's um, some sample music already out if you have um, Check out Marcy Higgs on uh, Facebook or yeah, this Facebook. and that productions. Um, you can and check yeah, it out. The, the album is produced by this and that productions. Right. Great sister D. Yeah. Hey, powerful bass player. This one play every instrument, okay? <laughs> <laughs> every instrument does everything. Oh man, I envy you. Uh, I tell you all the time, thank you, thank you. but not in a bad way. I don't <laughs> grudge her. Listen, I don't grudge her. I, Envy her. That's a nice word. Okay. Yeah. Right. It means okay. that enough respect, man. Yes. And the same. Enough I feel respect, the same way. You know, we have that connection definitely. And, you know, um, I have absolute, the respect for you. As I've well. seen many performers, many women, female in the business. I have, to, and I've been around. <laughs> I've been around. Yeah. Not only here in the U.S., I've been all over the world, mm. and I've never seen a woman like you. Wow. You're the most powerful woman in music. That wow, I, I mean, <laughs> Marcia Higgs, no. And like I said, I've seen many women, great voice too. Yeah. So you sing, you play. What? Come on, but why don't you This do? is supposed to be about Marcia today. So. <laughs> but hey, kudos to her. Hey, let me tell you, man. Yeah. There's no Marcia without Sister Higgs. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I want to give thanks for the respect. And, give you know, thanks, I feel the same way as well. Sister Lettinger, it's Women's yeah. Month, International exactly. Women's Month. You give my respect, I give their respect. That's right. That's what the thing and said. respect goes out all to right? all the women out there doing their Blessings. thing. Blessings. From Ahuda TV, from This and That Productions. And we want to also big up Dub House Pictures. We want to thank Marcia Hicks for coming down and doing this interview. And we're going to let you know, we're going to have some footage of the show coming up Um Probably in a couple of weeks, but we will let you know. So right now, I want to let you say whatever shout-outs you want to say. And I am Sister D for Who That TV. One love. My yeah, sister. give thanks, Sister D, for having me. I, I'm, I'm honored. And big up Rango Tana and the whole massive from the This and That Productions. I also want to big up my daughter, the Black Madani. Every time, love you, sweetheart. And you know what? Great. Hey, all of my little sponsors. Oh, my boobie, Jermaine. Love you, baby. <laughs> 
<laughs> Love you, bub bub. <laughs> but hey, you know, it's all good. We got my girlfriend, Marcia Salmon McKay. Every time. All of them, all of them pass them from all of them. Then I'm torn. I don't yeah. know. Check it out. What's all right. Up? All right. Once again, I'm Sister D for Who That TV. Peace. The Bible says, For a man to lay down his life for his friends, love only. No man not lay down his life for nobody if you don't love them. What kind of man who lay down his life for his friend? Love only. Love only. Her retirement man wasn't free, but she had love. See, enough for we walk around as free souls. But we don't have no love. I want to deal with a time for not defend love, peace, love, and unity. Yeah. Because until the love, they start come from the mothers of the universe. Yeah. And they can't get the love from the mother. You see, mothers cry every day of their children. All their sons are gone down. Oh, yes, and rightfully so. Cry as much as you want. But before we start crying, we have to start crying inside our womb. And that's where the sons come from. And let them not learn nothing from we. If I will learn it off that street. So, my rebellion is to the mothers of the universe. The mothers of the universe need to take charge. Start loving from yourself. Love your sisters and brothers. And love will come from your womb. Love is our religion. Come on. I want to see some of that.